Hello folks, um, we're back at my house, I've got Nigel with me, we've, we've got a few jobs on this afternoon but the, f the first video today is all about siphoning my raspberry. Now this particular raspberry um, was actually, um, oh, what's the word, um, we took out all the Oh, yeah, oh, the, uh, we uh, used bags, didn't we? Yes, yeah, um, so we didn't actually have any debris there to, to, no, re no. to remove. And the other odd thing about this recipe is it doesn't contain any grapes at all. So it's purely uh, fermenting on raspberries and sugar and water. Yeah. There's yeah. no grape in it no, at all. No, no. Uh, and what we've got to try to do, you can see through the plastic here, you can see that there's a bit of floating debris at the top and there's a little bit of sediment at the bottom and that's what we've got to try and, and remove yeah and we're, we're sort of uh, we're using kit that we haven't used before so we'll probably make some mistakes that's right so we've got some funnels we've got um... oh my brain's gone they're called airlocks <laughs> yeah I know airlocks yeah, I, I wasn't <laughs> looking at the sieve sieve, sieve yeah. is what I'm thinking of and we've got one of these um, pumps to um, yeah, this is a very siphoning pump. Yeah, a really clever arrangement. This is where you, you just pump the thing a couple of times, and it and it, and it primes flows, the siphon. Yeah, it yeah. flows. Brilliant. We, so, we had a play with it, didn't we earlier? Yeah. So yeah. We're, we're sort of evaluating the um, the hardware, I suppose you call yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. if you're um, a newbie like I am to this kit, um, then feel free to ask away. Uh, where I got the equipment from or what it is and uh, we'll try and answer you in the comments. Okay then Nigel, so what we, how are we going to do well, this? Well I think the first thing we've got to do is to use the... Uh, we've got to get the... What, what's that called? I can't quite remember what that's, that's a sieve, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Right so we've got to... Right folks, take the, take the top off. Top off. We're going to stick... Do you want me to do it or... Yeah, I'll let, yeah, let me right. know what we're going to do with this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put it in the sink there. Right, just there, yeah. Right, okay. Well, now I'll get that jug. And I've got to try and take this off, the top layer only, without disturbing it. Because if I disturb it, some of it will start to sink. And... Yeah. Right, so let's put that there. And if you're wondering where to get these sieves from, as I was, because it, sometimes you don't buy these sort of things, uh, I've got it from the local hardware sh store for one pound something. I bought uh, three different sizes. Yeah, you want a fairly s smallish one for skimming the top off. Just look at that, folks. Look at that juice. Yeah. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah. So this was right. all filtered through some of these um, through some of these bags, and uh, there was a few seeds that did get through, but the majority didn't, and they've obviously all gone to the bottom. Yeah. And then right, let's put that out of the way. And to get rid of the the sediment at the bottom, that's why we've got to use a siphon. Yeah. So we've got to be really careful when we set the siphon up that we don't disturb what is r resting still at the bottom. Okay. So what we're now, I'm not quite sure how to set... Oh, there's a, there's a clip on the siphon, look. Oh yes, of course. So that... I've got another two of these if we need them. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've sterilised the siphon. We've pumped some um, sterilising compound through it. And then we've pumped some water through it so, to wash it all away. Now, I've got to be really careful not to touch the bottom because it'll all the sediment will start to right. fly around. So, can I put that there? Do you want that clipping over? Or? Yeah, no, that's okay like that. It's okay then. And now I'm going to carefully push this down. Let's just see how far I've got to go down. I've got to go about nine inches there. So that's about that's about nine inches. So I'm going to push it down. It's about there. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. 
So the other end goes into your dungeon. Into there. Uh, now, uh, we really Do you want me? Oh, yeah. Could you pump that up, to, up? up? Just very gently, just pump it a bit. Can you see this, folks? Yeah. A bit more. Do it again. And again. There we go. Oh, not quite. And it's yeah. going. There it's we go. It's going, folks. It's flowing. There you are. Look at that. Isn't that easy? Well, it don't speak too soon because the next thing uh, we've got to be careful of, it doesn't overflow. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't got a lock on it, has it? No, you've got to be very careful with siphons because they tend to do things that you don't expect. So we've got to think about this one. Yeah. Do we get another one next to it? Or how do we? Uh, I think we get, yeah, that, I think that's a good idea. And I'll just rinse my finger so I can put it over the end of the pipe without contaminating it. We've got three gallons to do here so we're going to need three demijohns altogether. back in a minute with this. Nigel, what do you think? Uh, well, there, there might be something exciting for them to it's see when it all goes on the floor. Oh, yeah, of course not. Right. Yeah, can you hear it? Yeah. Just... We've got to make sure that the end of the siphon in there doesn't, um, it is deep enough. It's got to be deep yeah. enough so the flow doesn't stop when yeah. I put my finger yeah. over the end. Oh, I notice it's going slower. Look, as we get as we fill the damage on up. Right. It still seems to be working all right. So Nigel has gradually brought the pipe up. <laughs> Do you think? That... Well, we're getting an air bubble. So that means we've got to push the siphon down gently a bit more. And there you go. You've got to watch it, watch out for air bubbles because if you get an air bubble in a siphon, it stops. And if I move this, and we're getting another air bubble. Soon we can hold it with that. Yeah, I think so. Right, on. We're losing the si Oh, I know what it is. The, the 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 height on the siphon is not the height difference isn't big enough. I've got to put it lower. So, so you've got to have a quite a good height, a drop between the top of the liquid and where you want the liquid yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah. And I think the pipe, we looking yeah. at this, it will actually work, you know, on the floor, Nigel. Yeah. Yes, it will. You know, obviously we're 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 stretched around this chair at the moment, so in future we know. Okay, it will reach. I didn't think it was going to reach. No. There you are, that's better. But it's definitely a two-man job, because while I'm looking at this end... That was my next question, yeah, Nigel. You, you, you couldn't really do this you on your own. Imagine how I struggled, a, a novice. Because you know what's going to happen. As, as soon as you're on your own and, and you're messing about at this end, the siphon's going to tip over or come yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're going to have a, a bit of a problem. Yeah. I mean, probably an experienced person will have a better way of doing this, but... Um, well, uh, with a siphon, I should say. Well, I'm fairly experienced using siphons, but uh, I remember one time when I was at GC, I'd been using a siphon on a big tank that contained about 600 gallons of water. And we were testing some radiators. And uh, I got a phone call in the middle of the night 
saying uh, there is water coming from under the, the test lab door. Yeah. And unknown to me, I'd left a piece of rubber tubing uh, going over the edge of the, the tank and somehow this had started siphoning through the pump oh, and right. the, t the tank was nearly empty oh. and it was all across the, the floor of the lab. Still that's a long time ago. Luckily it didn't get into the electrics. Right, now I need to tip that a bit that way. That's it? Yeah, I've got it. Good. Right, now keep it tipped. Yeah. I'm going to have to stop. Okay. And fill that jug up if I can. Yeah. But if we tip it back, there won't be any point in siphoning it because it'll go sludgy. I should have thought about this. That needs emptying. Yes, yeah, so that's got to be tipped there, out. There is another one. Um, oh, is another one? Um, it's in that cupboard. Don't move. No. <laughs> oh, there it is. Good. Because we're going to need this for topping up. Keep it tipped. This is slightly cloudy, but it'll do for topping up one of them. Okay. Can I put it down? Yeah. Right, I'll just empty the siphon. I'll stop this for a minute, shall I? Uh, or shall I? Well, Nigel's. When you're using a siphon, you've got to be treated with great respect. So I'm now emptying the siphon so it doesn't empty itself on the floor. Okay. If it will empty. Oh, it's got the pumps coming up. <laughs> Right, hold that there. Right, let's see if it'll empty now. Oh, it won't. Okay, let's. I'm going to carefully then put that the end of the pipe in the container there. Right now, next job. We've got three nearly full demijohns here. So they're going to be pretty clear. Those three, nearly clear. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, are they? No, not bad. And I've got some cloudy stuff to put in. Yeah. So I think we'd better try and keep the ones that are the clearest, keep them clear. I think that's probably those two. So we use the third one to pour into those two. Okay, to top them up. A... Yeah, let's use yeah. that. So. Well, this is a two man job as well, isn't it? Using this okay, funnel. Yeah. That's it. You're doing very well there. I have to hold the... Oh, we're overflowing. Right, I should have gone a bit slower there. Right, I should be more careful on the next one. Catch up, isn't it? That's yeah. where I went. Yeah, we're going. That's right. That's what's happening. That's it. Really slowly. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. That's done that one. And then the third one, we can use the cloudy stuff to top it up because it's it's not quite as clear as the other one anyway. We did just about right, didn't we, with three going? Looks so, yeah, looks all right. And that second one is a little bit too full, so I'll take a drop out of there. Oh, look at that, I can't, I can't pour it. Um, oh, I know how to do it. Let's get the, get the, uh, the jug empty. If 
you just hold that firm, Julie, please, thank you. That's it, we've done it. Well, I think that's about it. I think we've been fairly successful there. That's we have, it. yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. No major accident, just a little bit of yeah. liquid on yeah. the floor. Yeah. Okay, we can... Uh, yeah. So, we've uh, actually sterilised all the tops, folks, and the airlocks, they've all been done, so we, that, we'll stick those on next, and we'll put these away. And uh, that's it for this, uh, uh, well, this with the second part of this first raspberry. I think so, you've got to label it up, obviously, yeah, but other yeah. than that, uh, yeah, we're just waiting then for it to get, go, get clearer. Yeah, okay, thanks Nigel. Okay.